Namaste friends, welcome to Art and Tarot. In this video, I am going to talk about this movie which came in the year 2010 and the name of the movie is Insidious. This is a movie by James Vaughan. There is a world around us, an invisible world, a haunted world which we don't see and I guess we are lucky that we don't see it. It is the shadow world known as the further where all the unfulfilled souls reside. Insidious talks about that world. He's not in a coma. I don't know what to call it. It's not the house that's haunted. It's your son. There are many scary movies which are made, but there are very few which actually scare you. Insidious is one among those movies which really scares you and what really scares you unexpected scares you and this movie is full of unexpected events I went into Dalton's room there was something in there with him in the movie we see a family moving into a new house and very soon things start going wrong Obviously, many of the audience will think it's the house which is haunted, but it's something else which is the problem here. The movie talks about astral projection. This is one horror movie which gives you logical explanation of why things are happening. The small boy in the movie is not in coma. He has actually astral projected himself into the further. So the family takes the help of a medium called Elise who tries to help them, try to make them understand what is happening and bring the child back. You don't need blood and guts to make a scary movie. All you need is an intense thriller and haunting tension which keeps you on your guard all the time. And this movie constantly feeds that tension. What makes a good horror movie? There are two most important elements which makes a good horror movie. One is good cinematography and second the sound effect overall the movie has good scary scenes and good entertainment but i do wonder sometimes if the ghosts are so miserable why are they smiling always what is so funny about being dead or the dead are just trying to put up a good face when the meat are living So my rating for this movie is 7.0. Siddhartha's spiritual rating for this movie is 7.0. So this was my review and rating for this movie in series. Do watch it. It's a very interesting one. Hope to see you in my next one. Namaste.